Welcome to the SEMA and Inspiring the Future training video. My name is Ian Stapleton and I work as an Employer Relationship Manager for SEMA. Firstly, I'd like to thank you all for being part of this amazing programme. Inspiring the Future is a free service that encourages people from the world of work to donate one hour of their time to talk to local school and college students about potential jobs and career. We've teamed up with the Inspire in the Future to promote the programme to SEMA members with the aim of telling them about a career as a chartered global management accountant and how SEMA has helped you. We've created this video to ensure you have all the necessary information, tools and resources that you'll need to confidently speak to school students. I would encourage you to not only watch this video, but also look at the presentation we've put together to support it as well as the range of other resources, all of which can be downloaded from the SEMA website. By now, you've probably already registered with Inspire in the Future, but if not, please register now. As part of the registration process, we ask if you could please ensure that you select SEMA as your professional body. If you've already registered, it's possible that you may already be receiving invitations from schools to attend their events. The decision about which events you go to is completely up to you. The events that you'll be invited to will vary, but typically there are four different types of events. You have talks, networking, CV and interview workshops and careers fairs. The school will provide more details about each event, but for a rough guide on what to expect, make sure you read the presentation supporting this video. Thank you once again for volunteering to help inspire the next generation of CGMAs. So, once you've accepted an invitation to an event, what happens next? Firstly, email us with the name of the school, the address, a contact name, the name of the event and the date. We'll then make sure that all the relevant resources you'll need, such as SEMA brochures, are sent to the school in time for the event. We just ask that you ideally give us at least five working days notice. Secondly, make sure you familiarise yourself with the various resources that are available, such as the SEMA brochures, Inspiring the Future resource notes and the SEMA presentation, all of which are available to download from the website. The resources will be covered in more detail a bit later in the video. As you approach the date of the event, make sure you familiarise yourself with the school and where you need to go. Give the school a call to confirm the event and that they've received delivery of the materials. On the day of the event, make sure you give yourself plenty of time to meet the school contact and get set up. You'll be accompanied by a member of school staff throughout the event, so there's no need for a DBS check. It's important for us to make sure we're all giving a consistent message. Some key points to remember are, SEMA is the largest professional body of management accountants in the world, offering the most relevant accounting qualification for a career in business. SEMA works with over 5,000 employers in the UK and has a presence in the top 100 brands in the world, such as Google, BMW, Ralph Lauren and Apple. The CGMA designation has been established as a result of our joint venture with the AICPA and opens doors globally for SEMA members. By using the designation, SEMA members are part of a network of valued management accountants all around the world. So, what are the options available to students looking to study SEMA? Firstly, it's important to highlight that a degree isn't needed to study SEMA. Anyone interested in a rewarding and successful career in business can choose to bypass university and head straight for the world of business. Students get to study SEMA at their own pace in a way that suits them. They can study full-time, part-time, while working, in a classroom or through distance learning. They'll start with the SEMA Certificate in Business Accounting. This will help them build their business and financial knowledge. 
It's a recognised qualification in its own right and a great introduction to the world of business, whether they're looking to land a top job or run their own business. Upon completion, they will be awarded the SEMA Certificate in Business Accounting and can use the letters SEMA Search BA after their name. It can also be a stepping stone to the SEMA Professional Qualification. The SEMA Professional Qualification comprises three pillars of knowledge enterprise, performance and financial, which are designed to cover not just finance, but a range of other business areas as well. It is split into three distinct levels, operational, management and strategic, that encourages progressive, constant development of knowledge, ensuring that students have the skills businesses need. When combined with three years of practical experience, the SEMA qualification ensures they are business ready, once complete, the member can use the CGMA designation after their name. If students decide to head to university, it's important to remember that carefully selecting their subjects can give them exemptions from the SEMA qualification should they decide to study after university. It's also important to highlight that SEMA has teamed up with selected UK universities to offer the chance to get a degree while studying for the SEMA qualification. SEMA, together with a network of top employers, has created the first ever Higher Apprenticeship in Management Accounting. It's a fantastic non-university route into the world of business and finance for talented individuals. A degree is no longer the only way to achieve a successful, well-paid career. Validated by the National Apprenticeship Service and approved for government funding, the SEMA Higher Apprenticeship in Management Accounting is a structured new entry route into a great career. For those based in Scotland, it is known as the SEMA Technical Apprenticeship in Management Accounting and has been accredited by the SQA as a Level 8 qualification and approved for Scottish Government funding. So what exactly is a higher apprenticeship? An apprenticeship is a workplace training programme which includes a combination of on-the-job training and classroom learning. Apprentices can earn a wage and gain real work experience whilst working towards a nationally recognised qualification. Higher apprenticeships are designed to help develop higher skill levels and include qualifications at a level equivalent to the first stages of higher education. The SEMA Higher Apprenticeship provides a work-based route for young people and adults to highly skilled careers in management accounting. Higher apprenticeships are aimed at anyone who has completed A-levels or equivalent and are most likely to suit high calibre individuals aged 18 and over. Apprentices need to be committed, motivated, enthusiastic and reliable with a can-do attitude. Specific entry requirements will be set by employers for particular roles. The SEMA Higher Apprenticeship is composed of two main elements, technical knowledge and work-based competence. The technical knowledge is gained by studying for and completing the Level 4 Diploma in Business Accounting consisting of the five modules that make up the SEMA Certificate in Business Accounting. There are a range of resources available to ensure you have all the information you need for a successful event, including the SEMA brochure, apprenticeship brochures, school leaver case studies and inspiring the future resources sheets. Don't forget to email us to let us know about your event so we can send copies of the brochures direct to the school for you. These are also available to download from the website, where you'll also find a range of other resources, including links to information about study options and fees. Starting with the SEMA brochure, this is a great source of information and will act as your best friend during your school visit. It starts with an overview of SEMA, which is a great starting point. It then goes through some of the different routes into SEMA, including studying straight after finishing school, as well as other ways to study for SEMA, such as with a degree. We then have my favourite part of the brochure. SEMA works with over 5,000 employers in the UK across all sectors. There are a couple of pages that show a range of employers that the students will recognise. If they study SEMA, they could be working for one of these companies. One of the first questions you will probably be asked is how much money can you earn? The salary page will help you answer this. This page shows average salaries according to how far into the qualification you are. For example, 
If you were currently at the operational level, you could be earning around £32,000. The SEMA Apprenticeship brochure provides further information, including where to find vacancies and how to apply. There are two versions of the brochure, one for England and Wales and one for Scotland, so don't forget to specify which one you will need. The School Case Study brochure gives readers a chance to hear about the real-life experiences of SEMA students who have started the qualification straight from school. Students love this brochure as they can relate to the stories and it's great for them to hear about the qualification first-hand from the people actually experiencing it. The SEMA student is asked a series of questions such as why did you choose SEMA and why did you not go to university? It's an inspirational tool to share with school students. Other resources available include a range of information sheets produced by Inspiring the Future, which offer a range of advice that might help at events, such as CV or interview workshops. These offer hints on writing a good CV, examples of good and bad CVs, and interview advice, including how to prepare, making a good impression, and the types of questions that might be asked. The resources sheets are all available to download from the SEMA website. This section is to give you a few tips to assist you with your school visit. As mentioned, there are normally four types of school events. There are talks, networking events, CV and interview workshops, and finally careers fairs. The format can vary according to the school, but the school will give you plenty of information about the event. This section will equip you with the relevant information and tips to ensure you feel confident at any one of these events. Students are motivated to work for a company or choose a career path based on the people they initially meet. You have about 30 to 40 seconds to make a good impression, so it's important that you get it right from the start. Make sure that you dress appropriately. Smart casual is fine, but please no trainers. Your image should reflect your job role. The first thing is to assess your body language. Did you know that communication is made up of 7% words, 38% tone, and 55% body language. So be aware of this. Use open body language, have good eye contact, and don't forget to smile. Make sure that you are positive, energetic, and professional. For a successful event, use the three-step rule. Approach, engage, and secure. For the approach, think about your body language. Smile and say hello. So for example, at a careers fair, make sure you always remain standing. Stay relaxed and approach the student with a smile and a hello. When you engage, find out about the student. Ask some open questions. Things like, what subjects are you currently studying? What are you interested in? What are your plans after you leave school? If they're planning to go straight into work, then tell them about the SEMA apprenticeship scheme. If they're going to university, then tell them about the SEMA specific degree courses available or studying afterwards. Guide them through the SEMA brochure and a range of the employers that we work with. It includes a good range of recognisable employers. The final stage is to secure the student's interest. If the student is 16 or over, ask them to complete a data capture form. This will allow SEMA to stay in contact with the student and send them relevant information. These forms will be sent to the school prior to your event and also encourage them to like the SEMA UK Facebook page. One of the things you're more likely to be asked to do is a talk, but what should you cover? Firstly, set the scene. Start with your background, your education, and your career to date. Students want to know about you. So, where did you grow up? What did you study? Who do you work for and what's your current job role? What do you like to do outside of work? The next stage is to introduce SEMA. So explain exactly what SEMA is, why you decided to study SEMA, and most importantly, how SEMA has helped you in your career and how it has progressed since becoming a SEMA member. For many students, this is the first introduction to SEMA, so make sure that it's interesting and it's fun. Ultimately, the student wants to hear about you, so feel free to talk about any hobbies you may have, but remember, you are representing SEMA as well. Avoid using jargon or acronyms, so examples include SLAs or KPIs, and explain any key terms you may use. Don't forget that students are unlikely to know what a management accountant is and how it is different to a financial accountant so make sure you explain this. A financial accountant looks at the past performance of an organisation and reports on that. They tend to work in practice in areas including tax and audit and are regulated by the government. 
you will have to explain exactly what tax and audit is. A management accountant, on the other hand, is more forward-thinking, using financial and non-financial information to offer strategic advice, manage risk, and make key decisions. They basically understand the mechanics behind the whole business as well as the numbers, and this is what makes senior members business leaders. Other tips to remember when doing your talk are to make sure your talk has a logical order with an introduction, a middle, and an end. Speak clearly, confidently, and not too fast. Maintain eye contact at all times. A good tip is to scan the room slowly from left to right. This is a great technique to keep the audience engaged and inclusive. Have notes if you prefer, but don't read them out or look at them too much. And of course, ask the audience questions. It's another great way to keep the group engaged and build rapport. And finally, don't worry if you make a mistake. Just briefly acknowledge the mistake and carry on. At the end of the event, the school may give you an evaluation form to complete to tell them how the event went. Please complete and return the form to the teacher. If you have any completed data capture forms, please collect these and return them to us. If you have any brochures left over, it would be great if you could encourage the school to display them in their careers library. If you have any feedback about the event, the support we provided, or have a query, please email us, including inspiring the future in the subject line. It just remains for me to say a big thank you for being part of this initiative. We recognise that SEMA members are highly regarded professionals, with lots of knowledge and experience to share and are perfectly placed to help motivate and encourage prospective students to consider studying with SEMA. You could be helping to inspire the next generation of management accountants.